Hello everyone, welcome to part 9 of Laravel 9 series. In this series, we are creating the multi vendor e commerce website in Laravel 9 and uh, we are working on the admin login logout functionality. And in this video, we are going to log in into the admin panel with the help of Auth Guard. In the last video, we have seen that we able to generate one entry, we able to generate one record in the admin table with the help of Cedar. And in this video, we are going to uh, we are going to log in into the end panel with the help of this record, this email and password. Okay, so right now uh, we have not done the functionality. Uh, we are going to open uh, its blade file that we have uh, created a few videos back. Okay, I think login.blade.php file. So we will open this file under admin. We are going to modify its form. Okay, so here we are going to add the action. login we will create a uh, url like admin login okay so this is the common platform for all the admin types uh, i will add the uh, method post and don't forget to add csrf token okay that is for the security so input type email class this one the and then we will also give here name email as well okay we can also give the id for later on that we will use for the validations we can use for the jquery validations as well okay if we want to use so here uh, we in placeholder we will write username okay that is fine then type also we will use name password and id equal to password so it's fine okay so now uh, we are going to uh, check whether this is file we have the uh, login okay get post method for login and admin controller login function is already there and we have created the password as well and inserted so now here uh, we are going to use uh, that dollar request is method post okay we are going to use that dollar request is method post poster data will come up here before that we need to update here a request dollar request okay and here the data will come we are going to check the data dollar data dollar request request uh, all we are going to first check that that data is coming fine or not okay so first of all we are going to check whether the data is coming in our login function or not so i'm going to log in now see if i will just give admin and i'm going to add the basic validation here and like type email name email and here uh, we can also add the required field okay later on we will uh, do the laravel validation as well we will add but right now we can add required for both the fields and here it is not working uh, we are going to check see actually uh, here it is going actually button is not correct here we can see okay we need to update this button okay we need to update uh, button instead of this link okay uh, so what we can do we can insert the button here button and type submit and here inside the button uh, we can add the same sign in and we can uh, copy this class 
here is uh, with button okay so we can move this sign in now and now we can check check here click on sign in now it is working fine okay you and if we will enter anything it will not accept we need to add the uh, correct email like admin at the rate of admin.com then password one two three four five six okay so we're going to log in and here you can see details are coming fine okay so now uh, we are going to log in with the uh, admin uh, see we can uh, see all files we can uh, simply remove from here okay so now uh, we will add that uh, auth card uh, for uh, auth card attempt we are going to use for login into the admin panel okay in the same way like we used to do with the auth okay or like we used to do with auth check okay now we are going to uh, use uh, with sorry auth attempt we use with the default web host now we will use uh, auth guard attempt okay so here we are going to write like if auth guard admin uh, attempt okay earlier on we used to write only auth attempt okay now we use write auth guard and which guard we are talking about we are talking about the admin okay so main thing is admin is a type of guard okay so here see we can create the multiple guard as well like i have shown you like this is the multiple authentication type of thing see uh, we have created the admin as guard admin is our guard okay so here uh, what we are using uh, we are using here auth guard admin auth guard admin auth G U A R D and inside this one we are using as admin okay so here if there is uh, admin we have used as a guard if uh, uh, see vendor is a type of admin but if we have some other guard like any other guard then we can just uh, write the same code and here some other guard will come like guard 2 anything okay any guard name means you can create the multiple guards as well okay uh, so uh, it is the process and then at that time we will use it uh, like uh, auth guard then guard name then attempt okay so here we are using it like this attempt then uh, after that email okay so uh, sorry not like this uh, after attempt uh, we will add uh, this one now it is fine email then email is coming uh, from there uh, from our form dollar data we are going to compare with email like this and then we are going to compare the password okay so dollar data password okay and status also status also is required status must be one okay if all are correct then we are going to return redirect the user to the admin dashboard okay we are going to return redirect the user to the admin dashboard okay else we are going to show the error message to the user okay we are going to return redirect the user with the error message okay return redirect back the user we can uh, simply uh, write like this error message with error message uh, and here invalid email or password this error message we will display in admin login page like this okay no battle message is coming okay so let me see so for uh, uh, for admin login uh, we need to display the error message and uh, see I will search uh, for the error message like uh, if I will search for some keyword like error message alert bootstrap okay 
so if you will search you will find the first one you can open this url first one uh, because i want some layout to display the error message as well so i can go down uh, this is the best layout i able to find i can simply copy you can uh, uh, you can search for uh, any of such uh, uh, bootstrap or some other plugin that uh, or some other uh, html or css code that you can use to display the error message okay so now i will put this one here uh, before the form okay i can put it here see the error message will come up here so uh, i can simply see error message we can uh, do it like this and here we are going to like uh, session has error message then we are going to display this error message okay so this error message we are going to display here here we can type like error this error here session get error message okay so now we are going to try to log in okay so let's see mm, i am going uh, back first of all uh, to the form itself let's see if there is error any error so Yeah, there is some error here. I'm going to check. See, I forgot to add here. Mm, password settings. Okay, now it seems to be fine. Okay, so now see here we are going to log in with the correct username and password admin at net of admin.com password is one two three four five six we are going to log in sign in see okay we need to disable this one now i'm going to uh, do once again send uh, okay auth is not found we need to include it use auth now we are going to refresh once again send and now see uh, okay some other error is coming we need to check uh, validate credential must be of type mm. uh, must be of type authenticable let me see where is the error maybe we are forgetting something here I think this issue uh, is coming I have searched this issue and this is issue is coming because uh, we need to use uh, authenticable uh, in admin model okay so I will open the admin model here and we have used the extends model but we need to use the authenticable because uh, uh, we need to authenticate uh, the admin model okay so we need to use here authenticable now we are going to try uh, refresh this one and we'll see now the error has been resolved and we able to log in into the admin panel okay you can see we able to log in uh, because we have done with the uh, with the correct credentials okay so now we will do the logout functionality from here uh, we will uh, we can able to log out okay so uh, open that header.blade.php file uh, this one and here search logout here it is and in logout uh, we will simply add uh, that uh, uh, admin logout okay here 
going to add Do such kind of silly mistakes at your end, okay? Not it, right? Okay, so uh, see, we will create that admin logout function here as well. Uh, it will be inside this uh, admin middleware, okay? Because no one able to log out without login in admin logout, and here route get logout here admin controller will come and logout ok so we are going to create this function in admin controller public function So let's try the logout function now okay so we are going to click on here and click on logout and see we able to log out from the end panel now if I will enter the wrong credentials like wrong password here or long URL then we'll click on sign in and here it is coming in error invalid email or password you can see uh, I can just simply change its color uh, like alert warning instead of warning here we will write here danger okay so now we will refresh and we'll try to log in with incorrect details anything you can add just to test the validation error message click on sign in and here it is coming error invalid email or password okay so now we will add the correct email and password and admin.com 123456 and we'll try to log in sign in and we able to log in with the correct username and password and then we can able to log out as well okay so we able to do the login logout functionality and i hope that you can also uh, able to add this login logout functionality and uh, now uh, in uh, we will do further with laravel validation for admin login form and other uh, things we are going to do uh, for like change password and other functionality uh, okay so once uh, we able to log in into the admin panel uh, we are going to do that uh, that sub admin like uh, sub admin admin role permission functionality admin can able to add sub admins uh, and uh, able to add vendors as well see vendors will come from the front end but admin can able to approve those vendors okay so everything we are going to add and vendors can uh, further add their shops okay and more uh, like they are going to add their products as well uh, okay so more information they can able to add and the admin is going to approve so everything we are going to do in this multi vendor e-commerce website so i hope uh, that you will uh, keep watching and if you have any issues you can surely ask me so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye